Welcome to the Potter Blog site, May 2nd, 2013. A maximum alert out today. The uh, U.S. government is active, actively soliciting a $0.6 billion, that's over a half a billion dollar human bird flu countermeasure trial. It's the Medical Countermeasures Clinical Studies Network. There's a the solicitation number. And we will delve into this in a lot more detail in the latter part of this video. But in the first part of the video, we're going to give you a quick summary and some potential risk uh, mitigation actions you can take. So it's a $0.6 billion solicitation, dollar solicitation to combat bird flu using human trials of emergency experimental flu vaccines with adjuvants. Uh, the second part of the statement of work includes a, a rapid, that means 24-hour advance notice, human trials of emergency experimental post-infection antiviral agents. Now when you take this solicitation in context with uh, Congress's massive overfunding of the Vaccine Injury Trust Fund and the Secretary of Health's recent authorization of the emergency use of in vitro diagnostics for the detection of avian influenza, it's abundantly clear that the federal government is preparing for the type of global pandemic infectious disease scenario only seen in books and movies. So we see two primary risks out of this. One, the government is right and the H7N9 bird flu is an imminent risk to the population of the planet. Two, the government is wrong but it will advocate for and likely force high-risk vaccination and treatments for the H7N9 bird flu. So we see two primary cost-effective risk mitigation strategies. Uh, the first is cheap currently, but uh, has a risk of going out of stock very quickly. Uh, the second is free, but requires some effort. Now the first one is, uh, while it's still cheap and available, to immediately purchase chlorhexidine gluconate. This is an anti-infective surgical scrub. It kills the flu and other bugs for six hours after washing with it, aka it's an invisible germ-killing glove. There are already some indications of shortage of this. Uh, if you're interested in buying this and you want to see what we've purchased, let's see if this shows up. There's the human version and the pet version. Now we have links available to this on our website. If you just go to potterblog.com and you go to the top of the website, here's a link of the stuff we bought, some of the stuff we bought off Amazon. We believe Amazon's the best place to buy it, but we'll get into more detail on that in a minute. Uh, the second cost-effective risk mitigation strategy is to educate yourself about emergency youth author use authorizations for vaccines, adjuvants, so that you can make an informed decision when given the option of taking such vaccines and or if you're forced to take such a vaccine that you know that you can make yourself aware of emergency countermeasures to take if you think the vaccine is more harmful than the uh, risk of the uh, bird flu. Now what's interesting about this uh, uh, about this solicitation let me put it up here uh, this is the initial solicitation that was made on March 15th and it seems to be very rapidly done because uh, it seems that there were several changes done to it in a quick order. But uh, the key date is uh, March 15th. And so you ask, what happened on March 15th? Well, let's look at this chart from uh, uh, Virology Down Under and Dr. Ian M. McKay. Uh, they made this in avian influenza timeline. And key thing to look here is over here on the right side uh, case fatality rate CFR 100% at the top and if you see right around March 15th case fatality rate had already reached uh, 100% and had been that way for several days and we'll discuss why this is dropping uh, later to the current 20% but this is when the government realized in this point right in here that uh, this was a very serious situation with bird flu and that's exactly the timing when they released this uh, preliminary uh, uh, preliminary countermeasure clinical studies network uh, solicitation and again it is a uh, a ha over a half a billion dollar solicitation let's see if I can pull that up uh, here's the actual solicitation 
I'll zoom that in just a little bit. Too much. Now right, let's go down. Let's see if we can find it. And there it is. The maximum ordering amount. Six hundred million. Over half a billion dollars for uh, this contract. That's a lot of money. So let's go back to the uh, to the analysis here. So you can see that the date of this countermeasure study coincides perfectly with avian influenza uh, outbreak and when it became noticed it was serious. Uh, the other thing in this uh, in this uh, report is as if in this uh, solicitation is or the statement of works indicate very clearly that this is uh, about setting up a, uh, a basically a, uh, a private coming up with a group of uh, companies that can do clinical studies on vaccines uh, with adjuvants and uh, antiviral post-infection antiviral uh, testing now get into this and I'm trying to speak quickly because I'm, I'm trying to keep the video short and and hit the highlights but uh, it's very concerning now if we look at it for those of you who don't know what an adjuvant is it's something that's added to a vaccine to put your body into hyper over to put your immune system into hyper overdrive so that it will react as strongly and as fast and as hard as possible to uh, whatever they're trying to vaccinate you against. Uh, the CDC is not allowed this in the United States. It says, uh, here's an example, there was a, uh, the last uh, swine flu vaccines that went out uh, apparently caused narcolepsy in children in Europe. It didn't happen in the United States because the CDC does not allow uh, adjuvants in influenza viruses, in influenza vaccines. And here's a quote, no influenza vaccines with adjuvants are licensed in the United States and no adjuvantated influenza vi vaccines were used in the United States during the influenza pandemic or in any other influenza season. The way they get around this, and this is clearly stated in the, uh, in the $6.6 billion, uh, $6 billion contract, is emer emergency use authorizations. Basically what this says is that uh, they can, under emergency use, they can use unauthorized drugs, uh, off-label, unapproved, without prior testing, in case of emergency for clinical trials. And that is exactly what uh, this medical counterwork uh, clinical studies network uh, solicitation is seeking to do. So. They are vastly preparing for uh, the bird flu to the point to the tune of the six billion dollar point six billion dollars for this uh, solicitation and the hundred million dollars per year they're adding to the vaccine uh, injury fund. Now the injury fund prevents you from suing the people making these vaccines, and it allows this uh, allows them to be paid out uh, through uh, the federal government. So let's look at uh, let's look at this real quick. Uh, this is the pre-proposal conference. These are the questions that were asked uh, recently. So let us look at. I think this is on page 22 here. Let's scroll on down. And here's the key thing that here's the question. Will this contract will this contract execute emergency use authorization expanded access trials only in the continental United States? The answer from the federal government is answer. This contract anticipates the potential to execute emergency use authorized trials only in the United States, including expanded access trials. So there you have it. That's what these trials are about. That's why this question is what we're asked. And then we see a few pages further down. It's on page 25. Uh, here's a question about the adjuvant, adjuvant uh, described in the statement of work. 
uh, whether or not what it, what type it is. Is it ASO3, which is uh, believed to have caused the narcolepsy in uh, the previous swine flu vaccine in Europe? Uh, the ans and ASO3 is basically a generic oil and water. The answer from the government is assume the adjuvant. I hate saying it wrong. Adjuvant is generic oil and water emulsion. However, offerers are not anticipated to be responsible for activities requiring information on the composition of the adjuvant. Very troubling. Uh, 